What's going on, everybody? This is Kurt Rice at Kurt Rice Baseball. How's everybody doing? It's fine. Early Monday morning. Hey, real quick. Um, as you noticed in my video, my other video uh, of this glove, uh, this is going to be a project glove. Uh, you noticed that it has a terrible, terrible palm crease in it right here. So in this video, really quick, I'm going to show you uh, how to get these palm creases out uh, of a glove. Now, on an infielder's or I would say a first baseman's mitt, um, you can pretty much, uh, without tearing it apart, um, there's no really a lot of padding except in the thumb and pinky part. On first baseman mitt, it's going to be around the curved part. And right, you know, right around the thumb part down through the heel part of the, the glove. On a catcher's mitt, unfortunately, it's got a lot of padding in it. So um, what I'm going to do with a catcher's mitt, I'm going to actually tear this apart and take the padding out and actually do the palm crease, get the palm crease out without having to... Um, dip the glove the whole glove inside the water i don't really like to to do the hot treatment uh on these catcher's mitts because they got so much padding and when once the padding gets soaked it weighs it down really bad i actually had a video where um i hot dunked a glove and uh i do not recommend it uh of course breaking it in you play catch with it and then your next step would be use a mitt mallet and then the last step that i would do would be to dunk it but on a catcher's mitt i don't like to dunk them just for the simple fact of uh it's got so much padding when you dunk a whole glove it weighs it down but to get a palm crease out uh it's almost necessary for hot water unless you beat it with a mallet really really well and put some adhesive in there so uh, give me a, a little bit and I'll get back with you soon, um, uh, to show you how to get this palm crease out. All right, folks, I'm back real quick. All right. Now this video is on about getting this crease out. Okay. So what I'm going to do, this is a bucket of hot water. Okay. A bucket of hot water. And what I want to do is that on a catcher's mitt. I don't like to uh, get the whole glove wet because of, hey, look, here's the padding that covers everything right here. So here, it covers the whole glove. So, so if you get all this wet, I actually did a video on hot dunking a glove and I deleted it just for the simple fact that it's not good to do. But in order to get a palm crease out, it's almost uh, necessary to do the hot water treatment. So what I did is I pulled it apart. Okay, so here's the back, here's the shell, and here's where your palm crease is at right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm not going to fully um, dip this into the water. What I'm going, what you want to do when you get the palm creases out, what I like to do is a bucket of hot water, and you take it. And you're going to pour it, just pour it right on there. Just, just pour it right on here. Okay. Now, if you want to submerge it, that's fine. But I would not recommend you submerge it with the padding. Now, like a uh, infielders or uh, first base mitt, it, it should be okay uh, because there's not a lot of padding. But with a catcher's mitt, if you have it, if you have it laced up and it's, and it's full, you know, it's got that padding just like I showed you. It's going to weigh that padding down. I mean, it's going to really, it's going to really, um, what you call, it? it's going to, that padding is going to get soaked and it's going to make it um, really, that glove really heavy. So what I would recommend is just taking you some water and pouring it on there. Even, even on an infielder's glove and stuff, I would take it. I would take it and pour it, um, I would pour it, you know, just like let the glove set kind of in the bucket like that. Don't even submerge it fully and just take it and 
Hold on there just like that. So there we go. All right. And this is regular hot tap water. As hot as you can as hot as you can get it. Okay. So that's that's what I would recommend. So I'm gonna submerge it one more time and then you know not fully like just submerge it, like keep it under there. I don't really like to do that, but um so there we go. All right, now what I want to do is I'm going to move this over, okay? I'm going to get this out of the way really quick. Give me just one second, folks. All right, folks, I am back. I fully got it, got it uh, in there. Now, what I want to do now is while it's still warm, take it and I want to beat it down. Come on, beat that that down now if your glove is fully laced if your glove is fully laced and stuff like that you're gonna have to take a mitt mallet to beat this palm crease out of here and what i'm also gonna do is before i lace this up i'm gonna put palm adhesive in there to lay that flat so uh like i said take your um let me move this over some more just right there take your your shell this is on a catcher's mitt but take your glove or whatever and just kind of stick it in the water just a little bit and then pour it down in there and then let it get warm get good and and soaked right in there and just kind of beat it down just a little bit okay when when your gloves fully laced now this one i didn't submerge the the padding or anything because like i said it makes it really heavy and then what you want to do is when you get this, when you get that laid up in there and you beat it out and all types of other stuff, uh, you want to let it dry for a little while. At least, you know, at least uh, this part right here, I would say at least a day or so, a couple of days till it's fully dry. Then you're going to have to clean it up, condition it, or just uh, recondition the area. Wherever, whatever part you dunk the glove, say like you dunk the whole glove to, um, to get the break in process, you want to, you want to, uh, recondition, you want to condition the whole thing because water dries leather out incredibly bad. So, um, anytime you do that, um, let it dry. Anytime you dunk a glove in hot water, um, let it dry for a couple of days, recondition it. You know, of course, if you're getting a palm crease out, this is a palm crease video. So uh, anytime you're getting a palm crease out, uh, pour the water on there. You can submerge it if you would like, like I showed you, submerge it and then take your mint mallet and beat it down. But this one is not going to be that bad. I'm going to put some adhesive in the center. So, um, all right. If anybody has any questions about this video on how to um, get a palm crease out or whatever, uh, please leave a comment down below. This is Kurt Rice of Kurt Rice Baseball. Y'all have a blessed day.